Okay, so I was uh, reading somewhere on, our, on uh, VentureRider.org, on our club site. VentureRider.org, that's the name of our motorcycle club. You know, anybody that wants to join is welcome to get a free 30-day trial. Uh, and contact our, our uh, club president, he can tell you about it. But it's a, well, a, a good group of people that are all motorcycles welcome, uh, family-oriented, uh, very knowledgeable about venture riders. They call ourselves venture riders because we're very, very into the Yamaha ventures. But that's okay if you're not a venture guy. So what? You know, <coughs> come in your. <coughs> you're welcome to come in your car if you want to do a rally. Or uh, I'm tired. I've been working on this thing like two days now, getting it ready to go out west. Um, but anyway, I was reading on there that somebody somebody mentioned something about looking at a Yamaha Venture and uh, and it not being comfortable. They couldn't get stretch out on it. They couldn't um, they couldn't uh, they couldn't get there. So I just wanted to just kind of give you my feelings on all of that. I've ridden a lot of bikes, dirt bikes, ADV bikes. That's adventure bikes. Um, on and on and on. Big road bikes, little road bikes. Dirt bikes, whatever. Okay, and uh, so I've found with the Yamaha Venture, and these are the only ones that I've owned. This is uh, 83. I've owned the 83s and 84, six of them. Um, and um, this is what I've developed over the years. All right. First thing you got to do. First thing you got to do is you got to lose the bottom shrouds. These shrouds, they used to be shrouds in here. Okay, protect your legs. Gone. Lose the bottom pieces down here. Gone. You don't need those. Um, and uh, let me think here. And I set my bars up. I'm an old chopper guy. I love choppers. I love riding them. Love riding them long distance. Building them, all that kind of stuff. These bars are all the way back. They're fully adjustable. One nice thing about the Venture is the bars are fully adjustable. These are all the way back and all the way down. Okay? And that's how I run them. Now, I just got through my through my, uh, whatchamacallit, my sleeping bag on the back so you can get an idea because uh, my wife's not with me but right now, but just pitch her, her and me leaning against her so that's the way the that's the way the, the, the ball bounces. So now if we just climb on the board here alright, now let me show you stretching out wise I'm 6 foot 215 pounds what do we got going here, okay now with me leaning back against my sleeping bag, and I ride a lot like this right here, even when my wife is in the oh, I just cuddle right in there, just like that right there. And uh, notice where my knees are at if I want to, okay, and where my feet are at. All right, down here, I'm down here on the on the uh, uh, crash bars, okay. I got I got some cheap little road bar road pegs out there, those coming kind of handy too. But I also ride a lot with my feet up on the up on water pump up on this side, like this right here, and the stator up on this side, and like that, look at this, look where my knees are, ta-da, no handed, I don't even have to lock the throttle, I can just, I can, I've done this before, I cruise for thousands of miles, just laid back and watching the traffic, or the, watching the action, watching the fun, so, um, and you can too, okay, so, I also heard somebody mention uh, something about a tank bag. You know what this thing is? This is a this is an old CD box player kind of a thing. I've used this for many miles. I got a friend, Big Tom, I think it was, gave me a uh, an actual tank bag. I haven't put it on yet. I'm still wearing out this one. I've worn out several of these through the years. Okay, um, but they work great. I just keep all kinds of junk in here. You can keep yeah, amazing amount of stuff in something like this. Now I left that loose. I've only got. It Got it tied in one spot, drilled through the bottom plate, put a tie wrap, a couple tie wraps about it, drilled through the fake cover on the top there, and then I can move it off to the side, get into the gas tank, you know, across the bars, want to make a corner or something, need to bang into it, it's just hanging there, and it's set right there, just pretty as a picture, and you can see how much room there is in, plenty of room for a camera, wallet, sunglasses, on and 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 on, and, uh, and there she sets, okay? Um, cup holder, that's what I do. Look here. I, I found this cup holder back in 2001, I think it was. 99, 2001. I was out uh, Sturgis with my brother-in-law. was out there with me. 
And uh, that little, they call them a bike buoy mug thing. Somebody had not liked it and they threw it out in the middle of the road down by Keystone. Um, and uh, I turned around, rode across the median, turned around, went back and picked the thing up. And I just mounted it there. Now, I've got other ones, really good ones, but this thing right here has been with me a long time and it works perfect and stuff. But I solidly mounted that. Now, I had a friend that got killed, uh, lost a, a water bottle out of this went, and went down into his bars and and uh, I run only um, styrofoam cups up here. Anything up here in the bars, something's going to go down and get it caught in the bars where you can't turn. Um, that will it'll it'll kill you. I mean, you literally, if it locks your bars, you're down. You don't even you don't you know you think well yeah I just turn the other way puck. No, it doesn't work like that. You you're down instantly. You can't even think about it. Pow, you're down just that. You be going along, water bottle will go hit a bump and it'll go up. Jam right there, boom! You fall. You're down. You're down. You don't have any choice. You can't reach down there and pull it out. You can't. You can't steer out of it. You can't. You don't have any 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 control over that. You're gone. It's down. It's over. All right. So, um, so styrofoam cup only up front. Okay. Now, now I want you to see. Um, I want you to see. I'm gonna try to set this camera over here by tweaks. I want you to see what this looks like. The multitude of positions that that gives me all right now again I'm six foot all right you may be taller maybe smaller whatever all right but this gives me this is the kind of this is the kind of uh, positioning that this gives me watch this this is my ride this is my normal ride position literally I ride like this for hours and hours and hours okay just like that now watch this here's a position it is right here look at it Relax. Relax. And by the way, these seats are the most comfortable seats ever made. Oh, to be a kid again. <laughs> uh, but these are, the, these are the most comfortable seats. What they hire uh, uh, ergonomic doctors to make to design this? The Mark I, first in Mark I, most comfortable seat that there is on the market. All right. So you can lock your throttle, go no handed, sit back, and just watch Montana just float by all the wonderful smells and sunset and everything else. Um, the kids, the wife, have fallen asleep many times back here. I've come very, very close. <laughs> very close to lots of times. Um, is that comfortable? Uh, another nice thing about these ventures is they have mid controls. Uh, you want to ride 16, 18, 20 hours straight, and we've done it many times. 1,200 miles at a time, not a problem. Here's here's how you do it. You have this position, you have this position. You have this position, you have this position. You have, let's not forget, the most comfortable position of all for riding is right here, just like this. You cannot do this. You can't do this with four boards. Standing up. Let go of the bars, put your hand on the hands on the windshield, and just go down the highway, 75 miles an hour, just enjoying the breeze. Okay, you can't do that with 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 four boards. Um, and uh, and the same thing goes with the rider on the back. She can stand up, you know, stretch out and stuff like that. You never have to stop. You don't have to stop. Okay. So uh, there you have it. Uh, I uh, was just, just filling in some blanks here for anybody interested in long distance touring. Um, that's how, that's how I roll. That's how I roll, just like.